Well, here we have in this container some phosphoric acid. And it's this product right here. As you can see, it's the phosphoric prep and etch. And I had some leftover metal ready. And this has phosphoric acid, as you can see there. And it also has a zinc phosphate. So what I did was I had like, uh, like a little bit over half a gallon. And I tossed that in there. And then I, I had some, I had about a gallon of this and I tossed that in there as well, mixed it all up. And as you can see that it also has a lot of things in along with the hood hinges. So when you take a glass of water and you throw rocks in it, in the glass of water, the water level will rise. So using that same principle, I took all these bottles and a couple vials and anything I could stick in there that was either glass or plastic and I tossed it in, the, in with the hinges so that I can effectively raise the level of fluid. And then I raised the container itself slightly so that I can bring the level to completely cover the hood hinges. Anything, any parts that move on the hinge, like for example, these, these right here, as you can see, I wanted it to be completely submerged because those are the linkage areas where the hinge actually moves. So you saw what the hinges looked like in an earlier video. And so now, as you can see, how they're coming out. These hinges were only in here for about an hour. And it's already starting to look great. Let's see if we can focus in right here. You can see that it's starting to look really nice. So, so you can see how clean it's getting. You see there? We can already start to see nice clean metal. This stuff rocks. So, I'm going to leave it in here for, um, I don't know, maybe a couple days. I want to make sure that my hinges are clean and free of rust. And I noticed that there is um, a coating, maybe it's the E-coating or some paint. The original stuff from 1974 or whenever these hinges were built. And the phosphoric acid is stripping that as well. Same thing happened with this. I left this in there for a week and you can see it's completely stripped of all the e-coating. So the same thing is going to be happening to my hood hinges. So my old hinges will become new hinges per se. So you can see it's eating the rust here on the top. You see how clean it is, how clean it's getting. So I'm going to keep on every once in a while, you know, every hour or whatever, whenever I think of it, I'm going to come here in the garage and give it a wipe with this foam brush so that the phosphoric acid and the zinc phosphate will get to work. Now the zinc phosphate is part of the metal ready. I bought this when I first started restoring the Nova and I bought Pour 15 and all this other stuff and I bought this this bottle of Metal Ready um, thinking it was pretty good but um, it does work but um, not as good as um, phosphoric acid this is so much more concentrated now the reason why I mixed the two is because I wanted that zinc phosphate on my hinge parts so that I can kind of prevent um, some rust in the future and to give it that extra oomph of protection.
it's like a primer so it'll also give it that extra stickability if I may say it that way stickability um, for the paint so that's what I'm up to now getting that done while I wait for my hood to fully dry uh, before I work on it so that's what I'm doing so I'm gonna leave that in there I just wanted to show you guys how I'm getting those hinges renewed so it's gonna look really great when they come they, when they come out so these are the the new ones I bought so now they're just store in storage all these areas are what I want to free from rust let me get one out so let me open it up so that you can kind of see what I'm talking about so here's the hinge and you see all these areas here those are the movable parts and so what I want is that phosphoric acid to actually eat away all the rust that has accumulated in those areas yeah so that all these parts there that's why it's completely submerged just so that I make sure it eats away at every possible rust spot so it'll come out really nice and it'll look really clean so we'll see how it comes out in a couple days I'll show you what they look like